An invasive insect, a lot of them, is forcing thousands of trees to be cut down on Long Island's east end. The southern pine beetle is eating and destroying native pitch pines and other trees as well. Experts tell CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan the only way to stop this bug is to take down the infected trees. The Paris family of Sag Harbor bemoans majestic trees on their street, victims of the southern pine beetle feeding frenzy. You've seen the yes. devastation. Yes, and it's terrible. The southern pine beetle is wreaking havoc across Suffolk County. It's terrible. It feels like a like a you know a fire trap ready to happen. This beetle spreads everywhere. Homeowners discovering treasured pine trees dead and dying. They must come down. The expense, yeah. It's costly. Thirteen hundred dollars per tree on average. The beetle first discovered seven years ago on Long Island's East End kills by burrowing through bark, overwhelming the tree's defenses. We have to protect the trees. Pine trees are being felled by the thousands. This week, Hither Hills and Napog State Parks are targeted. Surveyed the area and determined that we had a real major problem. So now, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation has an emergency contract. 4,300 pine trees of all species must go. The southern pine beetle is about the size of a grain of rice. Swarms can kill a tree within two months. Look for discoloration of needles, pitch tubes, popcorn sized clumps of resin, scattered holes and tunnels. Whether it's in your backyard or whether it's a major state park, we have to react right away to remove it. Once infected, the trees cannot be saved, but surrounding ones can be. Remain vigilant. If you're hiking and you notice uh, withering trees, you see little sat marks, uh, you see holes in the trees, report it, let someone know, contact the DEC. We want to try and get a jump on it as soon as possible. The public is urged to do its part to help save the pine trees of Long Island. From East Hampton, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.